When a woman came to him once when he was sitting with his companions, imagine this, you're with your friends, you're just, you know, you're, you're having your own social interactions in a beautiful setting, everything is lovely, and then someone comes in disrupting the gathering in an agitated state. I need to talk to you, I need to talk to you. Many of us would be like, whoa, 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 we may even shame the person, what's, what's going on, and not really know how to deal with that. We may not react properly because it's, we feel like it's an intrusion on our gathering, right? I'm speaking to someone, you, know, you don't know, people react in different ways. The Prophet Sallallahu subhanAllah, this woman, she had a mental health, she was known to have mental health problems. So she came in this agitated state saying, I need to talk to you about something. And he received her so beautifully. First he honored her and he listened to her. He let her say what she had to say. Then he said to her, Pick any street in Medina, and I will come, and I will sit with you, and I will listen to whatever grievances you want. You pick the street. I'll come to you. That's our Prophet Sallallahu right? And he did. He went to her, and he, she was able to pour her heart out, and he listened to her. So many examples with children, with animals, even animals. As I mentioned, many of our cultures are very heartless when it comes to the care of animals. We don't, uh, you see people, a'udhu billah, uh, kicking uh, cats and dogs and just, oh, they're disgusting, they're dirty. Uh, all of it is not from the Prophet's example. He did not do that. He did not treat the creation of Allah that way. SubhanAllah, he hugged the palm, the date palm tree, trunk when it wept, when he changed his mimbar. He literally hugged a tree that was wailing, and this is mutawatir, witnessed by many of the Sahaba.